morning church family, I'm Gabby from Light of Life Church. And I'm Bridget from Light of Life Church. And we are so excited to welcome you to our first ever virtual experience. We all know it's been a little difficult to be in the house and we're all trying to keep our social distance. We got maybe five feet between us. <laughs> we're doing our best. <laughs> but uh, we know that it's just never a bad time to be in the house of God and that we can worship him from anywhere we are. So we ask you this morning, grab your family members, invite all of your friends on Facebook, and let's just join together in the house of God that is us. We are the church. So this morning, we pray that you uh, enjoy our service, and Pastor is about to preach a powerful word called Stay in the House. We are so excited that you're here. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Light of Life Church's first virtual experience. We are so excited to have you this morning from the comfort of our homes. Um, we'd like to start off the way we always do with praise and worship because God deserves all the glory. Amen. 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 And so uh, this morning yes. we, we come with our praise and we hope yes. that you bring your praise from wherever you are. Yes. You know how Light of Life Church does. We don't like to sit down on Jesus. So we got a hype song for you and a worship song. And yes. we just pray Amen. that you lift your praise and your worship from wherever you are. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Come, on, give it come on, let's put your hands together this morning. Come on. <laughs>
in this place. Hallelujah. 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 Give him your worship this morning. Hallelujah. God has called us to a very yes. intentional yes. period yes. of faith. Yes. He is asking Hallelujah. us to put our faith out. He's asking us to step out on faith. He's asking us to spend intimate time with him yes. during this period. He has removed yes. distractions. He's asked you to stay right where you are and yes. give him worship and give yes. him praise and give him glory. And so this morning, as you tune in to pray that you don't forsake, that this is still an assembly of believers. We are all here together, ushering in the presence of God, enjoying the presence of God, embracing the presence of God, pushing into the presence of God this morning. Hallelujah. And we just pray that you be in our midst, Father God. Thank you. We know that you're here, Lord. You are welcome. Worship Jesus. Thank you for your glory, God. We keep our eyes on you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You call me out of Never have 
Let's worship. Just take 10 seconds of worship. Just worship it. Just worship it. Just worship it. Worthy of all praise, glory, and honor. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, just worship him at home, wherever you are. Just worship him. God bless you, everyone. It's Lady Charlotte with Light of Life Church, and guess what? It is time for giving, and I'm excited because of your generosity and because of your giving. We're able to continue to give back to the community, especially now when they need us to move. So, LOL, you know what to do. Go ahead and do your tithes and your offering, but if this is your first time, if you are a virtual guest, would you consider sowing a seed? I promise this word is going to be for you. There are three ways for you to give. <coughs> You'll see it on your screen. You can go cash app at dollar sign light of life church. You can go text to give 703-454-5131 or you can go onto our website lightoflifetoday.org forward slash give today. We just wanna thank you for your generosity and for your giving. The next word you will hear will be from our pastor, Tony Lewis. And let me tell you, the word is going to be for you. Stay in the house. Amen. God bless you, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in to our virtual service, man. Listen, I am so excited. For those who don't know me, I am the senior pastor of Light of Life Church, man. Listen, wherever you are, wherever you're watching from, I need you to do me a favor. I need you to share this message for as, to as many people as you possibly can share it to. Listen, I know you're in the comfort of your home right now, and and you're feeling good and you quarantine, you got your mask, your gloves on, your hand sanitizer. But listen, you don't need much to just raise your hand and lift up Jesus this morning. Come on, I need somebody to get excited about Jesus this morning. Listen, virtual family, this is our first one that we're doing. We don't know how long we're going to be inside, but listen, God is still in control. Somebody shout amen. 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 God is still in control. We're here this morning to worship. Again, thank you for all of my Light of Life members. You know what to do, LOL. You, you know, know what to do. Share this message. Share this message with everybody you possibly can. Listen, God will use you to lead somebody closer to his son, Jesus. He woke you up this morning in the middle of this pandemic just so you can worship him, you can praise him, and lead somebody to his son, Jesus. Amen? Amen. So I'm Amen. just excited about what God is about to do. There is a word from the Lord. Somebody said, there's a word. Type it in. There's a word. There's a word from the Lord. I have some, some great people. <laughs> I have some great people around me this morning. I know the federal government, the president said, and we honor the government, said we can only have nine people in the house right now. So we got nine. We got nine. Amen. We got next. And we got nine. We call them the flavor unit. Yeah, because these are the hype people. These are the people that are going to help. God is going to use them to help me deliver this message. Amen. Amen. I'm excited. I want to do a special shout out to that praise and worship. Man, they were so good today. Come on, I wish you would just clap. Do some clap for them. Real quick. Praise and worship. They didn't miss a beat. They didn't miss a beat. And listen, if you hear one of my neighbors cutting grass outside, that lets you know that we are really in the house. Amen? Amen. Amen. I want to shout out to my awesome, awesome and beautiful wife who, who is the, now has transitioned from first lady to production uh, production assistant. No, I guess I'm the production assistant. She's running the show, y'all. She's the director. She's the producer. She's everything. Would you just say, hey, first lady to somebody? Would somebody just type in first lady? We love you. She's such an awesome, awesome woman of God. Amen. Amen. To my mama and them. My cousin them, 
to all my friends and family around the world, from New Jersey to New York. Jennifer, I see you. Zelma, I see you. I see everybody. I see everybody in the spirit. I may not be there with you physically, but man, listen, this message will reach thousands of people, I guarantee you. Thousands of people. Shout out to all my brothers and sisters in the Shepherd's Connection and my pastor, Dr. R.A. Vernon. Amen? Amen. Come on, anybody Amen. ready for the word? Amen. Amen. Anybody ready for the word? Amen. Come on, you don't sound excited. Anybody ready for the word? Amen. Amen. Come on, Amen. Amen. get excited. Amen. 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 Glory to God. Wait. Now, listen, we're not going to do this a little bit different. Now, you can sit where you are, but just listen to this because this is a powerful, powerful word today from God. Listen, I want you to, if you can't go find your Bibles right now, you don't have it on your phone, I want you to look at Exodus 12. Exodus 12, verse number 13, from God's Word version. God's Word version. If you don't have it, don't trip, don't go running around. It's right at the bottom of your screen. It says, watch this, but the blood... Ooh. Amen. 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 See, I knew it. I Amen. knew it. Amen. I knew it. We didn't even rehearse that, but the blood <laughs> on your houses will be a sign for your protection. Come on, Amen. come on. <laughs> see, that's the hype unit there. And, and, and when I see the blood, Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. I will Amen. pass over you. Nothing will touch or destroy you when I strike Egypt. Amen. Oh my God! You don't even—I don't even have to say the name of my sermon series. You already know it. Somebody say, "Stay in the house." Stay in the house. Come on, show it. Stay in the house. Come on, let's celebrate Jesus one more time. Amen. Celebrate Amen. Jesus Amen. one more time. Come on, Hallelujah! Eternal God in heaven, Father, we thank you that we are able to come to you today via live stream. God bless this virtual service. Bless all of those who are watching. God, do me a favor and bless those who are sharing. Give them even a double portion for even pushing a button. It's in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 For the first time in my lifetime, as far as I know, uh, people from all walks of life, whether you're a millionaire or on welfare, we all in the same position. We're being told to stay in the house. Amen. Mm -hmm. The world right now is puzzled by this pandemic and people, thousands of people are being paralyzed by this thing called Corona. People right now are forced to pray. People who never prayed before are praying and calling on the name of Jesus right now. Amen. And some of the smartest doctors around the world are coming together just to crush and cripple this thing called Corona. None of us saw this coming because churches from all denominations and around the world are, are, are empty and doing church from home. Malls from all around the world. Stadiums that are normally packed are now empty and none of us saw this coming. And this morning I want to take a page from the governors of New York, the governor of California and governors from around the world and I want to give you the same message that they're giving the people around the nation. And people who are watching me, stay in the house. Stay in the house. I'm excited this morning to come to you and give you this virtual, virtual message because it's part of one of the messages that I love the most. This is about my favorite dude, one of my favorite dudes in the Bible, my main man, Moses. Somebody say his name, Moses. 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 I love Moses because this is the same Moses that told Pharaoh, let my people go. You know Moses. Moses that had a stick and a stutter. You know Moses, the Moses who also led the people, the Israelites, out of another Old Testament pandemic. You know Moses. Let me just pause and parenthetically right here give you some content so you can respect the content. This is Moses. God has told Moses, he said, listen, I need Pharaoh to let my people go. Yes. In, the, in the beginning of the chapter, he says, listen, I need you and Aaron. Take your boy. Take your dude, Aaron. I want you to go and tell the Israelites that the Egyptians are, are they up to no good, Mo? They up to no good. I need you to take my, my people and let them know that I want them to do a sacrificial offering. I want them to go get a young goat. I want them to get a young lamb. And I want them to sacrifice this. But somebody say the blood. The, the blood. blood. Take the blood. Well, there it is right there on your screen. Because the Passover is about to come right here in verse number 12. It says, he says, I will go through the land of Egypt on the night and strike down every firstborn, every firstborn in the land of Egypt. Whether human or animal, human or animal, and I will bring judgment on all their gods, little G. 
little g, all their gods. Why, God? He says, because I am God. Amen. Amen. Oh, you should have you, you should have you should have said amen two or three times. Somebody should be typing amen right now. He says he says because I am God. Watch this. The Israelites they have rejected God. They've done everything they can to not listen and obey what God it says. The Israelites want to do the things their way. The Israelites want to follow God, and the Egypt Egyptians want to do what they want to do. Somebody say you can't have it both ways. <laughs> See, the Israelites want to follow the word of God. They want to reach God's commandments. They want to do whatever God says. But those who are in, in Egypt who is in control, they have their own image. And now they're brutalizing and enslaved the, the Israelites. And, and guess what? They're selfish. Bump your neighbor. Oh, you can't bump your neighbor no more, I guess. You can just think it in your head because you can't high five your neighbor or bump your neighbor. So I used to live in there one of them. <laughs> you get it on the way home. Amen. But these are some people who are selfish, immoral, and they're greedy. And God says, the Egyptians have rejected me. And now I'm about to cast my judgment on them. Not only am I going to cast my judgment on them, I'm casting my judgment on the firstborn male, males as well as animals. God says, let me be very, very perfectly clear here. And there's no more room for your repentance. Watch this. Look at verse number 13. Watch this. Don't miss this. He says, the, the, the blood that's on your houses, the blood that's on your houses will be a sign, will be a sign. Don't miss that. Will be a sign of your protection. Uh, 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 oh, hold up. Wait a minute. Oh, hold, wait a minute. Did God just say it will be a sign? Wait a minute, am I, am I listening? Am I seeing the text right? Because it's, it's in the text, God says, he's, he's, he says, my divine judgment, my wrath will fall on you, but the only thing that's going to make me change my mind is the blood. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I've been saying it all week, man. Listen, if you've been on our prayer call at 7, noon, and 6, you've been hearing me say nothing but the blood all week. I've been, I've been decreeing and declaring over people I don't even know, all over nations and all over people around the world. There's something about the name of the blood. I wish we could be, I wish we could just have church for 10 seconds right here and just talk about the blood. Talk about, yes. 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 Talk about the blood. Yes. The blood. Yes. Watch this right here, right here in the eight clause. It says, it says, but the blood on on your houses will be a sign. Somebody shout sign. 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 Will be a sign of your protection. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Can, can I pause and, and, and digress one more time right here? Because, because can I talk to my, my just my Facebook, my Facebook nation, my Facebook members right here? Because there's, there's something about the sign. See, see, some of y'all keep running up to me talking about, Pastor, I'm about to date this dude and, and, and his sign, he is, he, his zodiac sign is, is, is cancer. I, I, some of y'all be messing me up talking about, see, see, Pastor, I, I like him, Pastor, because his sign is Virgo. His sign is Sagittarius. His sign is Capricorn. His sign is Aquarius. Listen, my birthday was just March the 4th. And listen, I, and don't call me no fish. All right. You get that on the way home. I, I don't even eat fish. <laughs> Pastor, what's your sign? My sign is the cross. Amen. My, Amen. You didn't hear me. My Amen. sign is the cross. Amen. My sign is Jesus. I'm rolling with the Holy Ghost. Come on. You know it. If you've been around me for more than five minutes, you know that my sign is the fruit of the Spirit. Come on. You know yes. love, joy, peace, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. You know the sign. Somebody say, I need a sign from the Lord. Yes. I need a sign from the Lord. I need a sign. And keep running around. And God says, it's the sign that's across your door, Israel, Israel. It's the sign that's across your door that's going to allow me not to bring hurt, harm, or danger yes. to you in the middle of this crazy thing called Corona. It's the sign that I, I place, and right here, watch this in the B clause. I love it. I love the Bible. I love it. It is in the B clause. It says, when I see the blood, <laughs> seven of y'all miss your type right there. <laughs> it says, when I see the blood, I yes. will pass over you. Mm. Amen. <laughs> Amen. I, I love it. it. says, when I see the blood, watch this. It's, in, it's right on the bottom of the screen. When I see the blood, 
I will pass over you. Uh, come on, I need somebody to type right here. Blood, the blood, the blood, the blood. Here's what it didn't say. Here's what it didn't say. I, I will pass over the house that got the cutest girl with the cutest shape in it. <laughs> it didn't say that. It didn't say, the, the text did not say, I will skip over the house that has the nicest people in it. It didn't say that. The text did not say, I will skip over the house or pass over the house of the people who has, has a clean, crystal clear record. It says, I will pass over the house the ones that have the blood over their house. Amen. Amen. See, there's something about the blood. And right now, I know I got some Light of Life members that's typing in the blood. Yeah. I got some people right now who's sharing this message because it was the blood that set them free. Yes. yes. Thank you. Amen. 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 Thank you. Okay, yes. let's, let's, let's just get transparent for one minute. There's somebody watching me right now because it was the blood that set them free. Hallelujah. Can I just pause and parenthetically digress one more time? The only reason that you're watching, watching me right now because you've been washed with the blood. Yes. Oh, you didn't hear me. You didn't hear me. What was supposed to kill you didn't kill you because of the blood. Oh, come on, Light of Life members right now. The only reason you haven't went cuckoo for Cocoa Puss is because of the blood. The only reason you haven't lost what little mind you got left is because of the blood. Okay, maybe you didn't plead the blood over you, but Grandma pleaded the blood over you. Somebody had a praying grandma that prayed the blood over you. See, the bullet that was supposed to kill you didn't kill you because because of the blood. Yes. 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 It was the blood that made you break up with Butch. Yes, Lord. Come on. Come on. <laughs> it was the blood. Somebody say amen. I heard amen. two people say amen. amen. It was the blood of Jesus that made you walk away from some stuff that you knew that you wanted, but it was amen. the blood of Jesus that made you walk away. That's right. Somebody say it one more time and type it with me. The blood. The blood. The blood. Verse that C clause says, I don't need nothing but this this but this one verse right here. This one verse right here, blood, uh, uh, verse number 13 right here in the C clause. It says, no disaster will touch you. Yes. Come on, come on. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. Shout. No disaster will touch you when I strike down the land of Egypt. Come on. Thank you, Dr. R.A. Burn, my spiritual father. We got your back, Dad. All pastors around the world. SC, shout out to you. We all preaching the same sermon series. We all in this together. Here's my point. I got to roll. Time is pushing me. I got to roll. I got to roll. You ain't going to keep me for so long today. The people who are under the blood right here, who are trying to deal with this crazy corona, I need you not to worry. I need you to know that you're covered by the blood, but also I need you to stay in the house. Amen. 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 Somebody should have said stay in the house. Stay, stay in, in the house. house. Somebody should have typed it in, stay in the house. Mm -hmm. See, when Heaven's, when Heaven's Health Department give you the warning to stay in the house, and you leave the house. Don't blame the disease. Blame your disobedience. Come on. Amen. Come on. Amen. Come on. Amen. Come on. Ooh, I'm coming down your street. Walk up on your porch. Ring your doorbell. Come in your living room. Sit down on your couch. Open and drink your cherry cooler. Hey. All right. All right. <laughs> somebody said grape. I don't, I'll, somebody said, I don't drink cherry. I'll drink, I drink grape. I drink grape. Reggie Green, Reggie Old School. We just drink. <laughs> but when God says, be consistent in your prayer life. He's covering you with the blood. Yeah. Amen. It's a funny thing about being disobedient. Disobedience will get you in a whole lot of trouble. Amen. Going outside right now will get you in a whole lot of trouble. I know you love Jesus, but guess what? Listen to what the CDC says. Mm -hmm. Listen to what God is saying. Listen to what your pastor is saying. And before I go and get back and start enjoying my family, I want to give you this right here. I got to go. Got to go. Because there's benefits in the blood. Amen. Amen. Say amen. 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 There's benefits in the blood. Y'all tired of me? There's benefits in the blood. Amen. Watch this right there. Here it is right here. There's, there's safety in the blood. Yes. Amen. amen. Oh, amen. you didn't hear me. You didn't hear me. There's safety in the blood. Come on, come on, come on. Stay in the house. There's benefits to staying in the house. In the house, there's safety in the house. There's safety amen. in the house. There's safety in the house. How many of you know that that Psalms uh, twenty uh, Psalms 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 uh, ninety one and ten says that, that the blood will never come across in your house. Amen. The plague will not touch your house. Amen. Somebody say amen. Yes. amen. Right now we are in a place in America and around the world. Have you seen the people overseas? The people who are overseas who are celebrating from their balcony windows and singing songs yes. and just praising God. Did you see the statistics of over 72,000 people who gave their life to Christ? Praise yeah. God. Hallelujah. Yes. Because they couldn't go outside. 
There's safety in the house. Amen. You want to know what else is in the house? There's savings in the house. Amen. Come on, I need Amen. you to continue to pray. I need you to continue to pray for those people, those store owners, those merchants, the movie theaters, the cafeteria people, all of those people who have restaurants and business. Continue to pray for them. But guess what? Yes. There's savings in the house because do you know how much money you're saving right now just because you're not eating out? Amen. Come on. Amen. 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 Yes. And, and don't you dare right here tell me, well, Pastor, I, I don't know about offerings and tithes right now because because I don't know when I'm going to get my next paycheck. Well, heck, you just saved half of them just not eating out. Somebody say amen. 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 You're actually saving money just because you're not eating out. You know what else is the benefit of staying in the house? There's blessings in the house. Yes. yes. Amen. Oh, yes. you didn't hear me. Come on, yes. somebody. Amen. You need to get yes. more Amen. after this. Amen. Come on. I need you to just understand there's blessings in the house. I'm in the house right now with my wife, my two sons, and my daughters, and my dog. Everybody's in the house right now. Where my sons and, and my daughters are having having uh, go fish tournaments right now. And I'm just sitting back like a like a proud papa sitting there looking at it. I just let them fight. I just let them fight. They fighting over go fish. They sitting back right now. You would think they old school, Reggie. You would think they old school. They, they playing cards, talking about talk and all this. I'm like, oh Jesus, how did y'all learn about these games? They sitting there playing a sorry and all of this stuff. There's a blessing behind this because now we're in the house. And we're seeing families that come closer together. Yeah, Heck, yeah, I don't even yeah. want to tell you what me and come First Lady have been doing. Come on, All right, right. Come on, yeah. come on. All right. Come on. We just been cleaning. Where'd <laughs> <laughs> y'all minds be going? <laughs> we just been cleaning. We done cleaned the house. We done painted. We done did all kinds of things. Somebody said, pray for me, Pastor. <laughs> <laughs> There's benefits. Amen. There's benefits of being in the house. Yes, Lord. Facebook, I love you. Make sure next week you don't. You don't go nowhere next week. Make sure that you tune in. Make sure next week you come right back to this channel. Don't forget, I'm praying for everybody at, at 7 a.m., 12 noon, and 6. Don't go nowhere, Facebook. Amen. Please holler at me. Please, please, please give me some comments. Share this message. Oh, 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 my goodness. Did I miss one? Because there's salvation in the house. Yes. 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 You should have lost it right here. There's salvation in the house. John 3.16, John 3.16, that's your favorite scripture. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, but whoever believed in him shall not perish. Yes. Yes. Amen. Oh, Amen. oh, my God. You worried about this crazy corona, but God says you covered by the blood. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. God has not given us the spirit of fear, but he also gave us the spirit of using common sense. Yes, yes. Lord. And we love him. We love him. We love him. And we understand. That during this terrible time, this hard time, this ep this pandemic, something that America, the world has never seen, has seen this thing, something like this in my lifetime, I know. But there's been years since we've seen something like this. But right now, I'm so, so excited to be able to do this virtual experience. Because the devil thought he had locked us, mm. locked us in. Yes. But we're not locked out from the kingdom of heaven. Yes. Amen. 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 We're not Amen. locked out from the kingdom of heaven. Amen. Come on right now. There's somebody, there's somebody that's watching me right now. There's somebody that's watching me right now who's in their house that don't know where they're gonna turn. There's somebody right now who's watching me right now that don't know Jesus. You in your house tripping. I don't, I don't even know how you heard about this. I don't know how you heard about me or this church or whatever. Maybe you just was, 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 was trolling through or scrolling through or whatever you were doing and you just ended up on this channel. But whatever it is that you're going through, whatever you, you're, you're dealing with, there is a God. And he is in control. Amen. He is the one that we call Jesus. That precious, precious Palestinian Jew that we that we call our father. Yes, Lord. I want to give somebody the opportunity to give their life to Christ today. I want to give somebody the opportunity to get set free. I want to give somebody the opportunity to surrender it all to him. I want you to type in right now, if you've never given your life to Christ, 
I want you to just type, I want I want the blood. Just put type in blood. If, you, if you've if you never said the prayer of salvation, would you just give the high five emoji? Would you give the thumbs up emoji? Whatever it is, I, I know, Pastor, we're not touching, uh, to physically touching right now. The government said we can't touch, so we're going we gonna to follow that. But guess what? I can call you. I can have one of my intercessors call you. Right now, this is a great time to give your life to Jesus Christ. If you're scared and you're watching me right now, why don't you just give me the emojis, give me the thumbs up. Let's use thumbs up because we gonna be all right. We gonna be all right. Maybe you think you like this church, man. Listen, I'm loving this thing, man. We call it the, 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 the light of life nation, God. Man, it's so powerful what God can do when you think it, when you think the devil has tried to creep in and God says, nope, I got other ways for you to get this message out. Maybe you want to be a part of this church. Come on, give me a thumbs up. I promise you, my wife and our team, are going. we're going to inbox and call each and every one of you if we have to. There's something about the blood. There's something about the blood. I'm just going to let it marinate in your spirit right now. Don't be afraid. You've been covered by the blood. Stay in the house. Stay in the house. Next week we'll be back. We're going to keep this sermon series as long as God is putting it in our hearts. We're going to keep on preaching the same message, the same sermon series, a little bit different flavor on it. Because I want you to be covered by the blood. Amen. Amen. Come on, amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Give God amen. Amen. Come, on, yes, Come on, you can do better than that. Do better than that. Come on, do better than that. 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 Do better than Listen, do me a favor. You may have came in or tuned in a little bit later. I want you to posture yourself for giving. Listen, maybe you didn't give at the top of the broadcast hour, but listen, guess what? You still have the opportunity to give to this church. Listen, yes. because of your giving, because of your tithes and offering, this week my wife and I, our team, we went out. We were able to bless some people with groceries. How many know people need stuff right now? Somebody this week is going to get some gas from us, going to get some groceries from us. I'm praying that you will search your heart right now. Right now, I don't want to push you too much. If, if the Lord is not telling you to give nothing, don't give nothing, but just, just give me a high five, and next time I see you when it's safe, give me a hug. But right now, I believe that if this message has did something or said something to you, I want you to consider sowing into this church. Amen? There's a couple of ways you can give right now. We ain't got no envelopes. Thank God somebody said we saved the trees. Lord, I've been trying. Lord, thank you. Thank you, Lord. I've been trying to get the envelopes out of the church for a long time. But listen, Amen. guess what? You can go to Dollar Sign Light of Life Church and you can cash app us. Whatever the amount is. I hope it's a big one. I hope you I hope you love this this message. It did something for you. Or you can text to give. We have a text to give system in 703-454-5131. You can text to give or you can go to our website, which is lightoflife.org slash give today. Whatever way God tells you to give. It's on your screen. We'll leave it up for you to look at it. If this word bless you, light of life, LOL members, you know what to do. Your church is a giving church, a praying church, and a loving church. Amen. Amen. And we thank you so much for everything that you've given us. Amen. Come on, let's give a hand and clap of praise for those givers. For those givers, let's give a hand and clap of praise for those givers. Amen. Amen. I see you coming in. Hallelujah. announcements that I want to give you. We're about to be out of here. Listen, our women's Bible study is going to be every Monday right now. Our ladies' Bible study, women's Bible study. It's going to be all the ladies in the house. Amen. It's ladies' night. Okay, well, the ladies are going to be doing 7 p.m. via Zoom. I, I will post it how you can get the, the login information. That's going to be every Wednesday, every Thursday, every Monday, Monday, every Tuesday. Did I say Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday? Whatever day it is, you just make sure that Monday. you watch. It's going to be on Monday nights. First Lady's going to be doing that. But guess what? All my fellas. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know we get there. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord for the bands. 
Ladies and gentlemen, I need you to help me out here. I need you to get every man in your circle, every man around you, because I'm doing the MVP, Men of Vision and Purpose. That's going to be Tuesday nights, again, via Zoom. I want you to make sure that you log in. I'll make sure the information is up on our website. Don't forget our prayer. That's going to be only on Facebook for right now. We'll do Wednesday morning properly on the phone as well. But I'm going to be praying between myself, our intercessors, our team, my wife or whatever. I may even have one of my kids pray one day. Wouldn't that be nice? Somebody say amen. 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 So I may have somebody praying, but we'll be praying at 7 a.m., 12 noon, again at 6 p.m. And how about this virtual experience? <laughs> Come on, somebody yes. should get excited for the virtual experience. Amen. Oh, that's a cute girl on the shot right there, man. I love her so much. Again, thank you so much. Thank you so much for tuning in. Do me a favor, share this with somebody. Share this with somebody as we get ready to close and go home right now. Listen, I'm going to give you the benediction virtually right now. Wise and eternal God, we come before you right now. Thank you, God, for this word that comes from you, Lord God. God, we bless your holy and righteous name right now, God. God, protect us from this crazy corona. God, let us be in our house and be safe. Place an angel over each and one of our house. Lord, let, let us meet again next week. In Jesus' name, somebody say amen. 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 Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Amen.